Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to Allah is in the Bible by the channel called Islamica. This is, of course, an extremely controversial subject, especially Christian apologetics will claim that Allah does not mean simply God in Arabic, but Allah is a demon, they will say. Therefore, if we were to find the name Allah within the Bible, this would be, of course, groundbreaking. Let's have a look. Say God is the one. That's what it means, yes. Only Muslims retains the name Allah. Give the facts with a chance. Oh, he does. Uh, Mr. Dirat, I'd like to find out from you. Your books say that the word Allah was used by the followers of... By? Um, by the followers of the word Allah. By? By who? By the followers of Jesus. Uh, oh, right, right. <laughs> by... From the research that I have done, Jesus probably said Allah, who or Allah. By, by all the Semitic religions. Yes. I'd by Semitic, I mean the religion of Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad. Yeah. The word for God Almighty is Allah. That's so, in my book. Yeah, so my question is, uh, how come only the followers of Ishmael have managed to retain the name Allah? Where did the name Allah get lost by the Jews? Yes. And I show you. Question. You see, even in the Bible, as the Christians have it, you have the Bible here. And in the Bible, if you have, you get one by Reverend Schofield. Translation of the King James Version by Reverend Schofield. And in his first chapter, first verse of the Bible called Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Chapter 1 verse 1. You see there it says, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Sure. That's the first sentence of the Bible, Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Now, yes. we have a commentary, it has a commentary, Reverend Schofield, backed by eight DDs, not DDs, DDs, Doctors of Divinities, eight DDs. And he gives an explanation that this word God in the Hebrew language is Elohim, yes. which is a uni-plural name. And also in Hebrew, El and Elah. And he spells the word exactly. Elah alternatively as A-L-A-H. As long as I was reading Elah, Elah, E-L-A-H, E-L-A-H, I couldn't see the connection. That is Allah. But this Reverend Schofield, I have the Bible. If you like to come along and see, I have a photo stat of that Bible. I give it to you. It says E-L-A-H. To me, this is not surprising at all because I've been listening to Christian Orthodox chants in Arabic and guess what? Big surprise. They, of course, say Allah as well. is spelled as A-L-A-H. I said, right. If it's A-L-A-H, is Allah. You say sure. Allah. I said, look, say Allah. My language. My language, I want you to pronounce as I want you to pronounce. You see the English language? As the Englishman wanted me to pronounce, I pronounce it. Because when I went to school, in the primary stages of my schooling, I came from India. I didn't know A, B, C, D. I didn't know what a white man looked like. Wallah. I didn't know anything. I was like a raw barbarian coming from India into South Africa. Started with A, B, C, D, K, K, G, A, L, B, T, S, A, Shh. At the age of nine, I started four languages. One time. Learning here, here in South Africa. So at school now, they teach me beauty bats, beauty cat, and beauty mat, and beauty rat, and beauty nut. Beauty? 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 What? Put! <laughs> That's, that's funny. I'm telling my teacher, sir, is this is very funny. You know, it's a beauty bat, beauty cat, and beauty mat, and beauty nut. Beauty? Put. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it doesn't agree with me. They say, did that. Don't try to be too clever. <laughs> beauty 
is put. And if you don't say put, you won't pass your exams. So I said put and I passed my exams. <laughs> so I said, look, A L A H do, is Allah. Say Allah. You try. And you say Allah. I said, no, no, try again. You say Allah. I said, not Allah. Say Allah. He said Allah. I said, okay. I, I, I forgive you. I forgive you. You see, the word is Allah. So in the language of Moses, Jesus and Muhammad, the word for God Almighty is Allah. Jesus Christ, supposed to be on the cross, he cried out with a loud voice. He said, Allah, Allah, lama sabahtani. Allah, Allah, lama taraktani. In, in Arabic, in yes. Hebrew, Allah, Allah, lama sabahtani. Hebrew, Arabic, and Aramaic are very, very similar. In the book of Revelation, chapter 19, it speaks about John the disciple. He saw as the vision in heaven. Angels sing in heaven, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Oh, okay. I'm asking the Christians, what is Alleluia? Hmm? Hippie Pure. Does that mean Hippie Pure? <laughs> Say, yeah, God made another star 40,000 times brighter than our sun. So what the angel said? Hippie Pure, Alleluia, Alleluia. I said, is that what they're doing? I said, no, no, no. I said, what is Alleluia? The first time these people, the Christians, came to the city hall lectures of mine and they said, Alleluia! So I explained what Alleluia is. No more Alleluias. Finish. <laughs> Nobody says Alleluia anymore. Because you see, you are saying, Ya Allahu, Alleluia. Is Ya Allahu, Ya Allahu. Ya Allahu, Ya Allahu. This is what you are supposed to be singing. The angels sing in heaven. Hmm. Ya Allahu. That is the first time that I'm hearing this. Ooh, ya Allahu. Ya, ya Allahu, Ya Allahu. Ya Allah. This is it. I said, you, that's what you're saying. Hooray. Congratulations to you. You are still thinking of Allah. Ya Allahu. Alleluia is Ya Allahu, Ya Allahu. So, this word is still in the Bible, in every Bible, in every language. In the Zulu Bible is there. In the Khosa Bible is there. There is not a Bible in which this word Allah is not there. You come along and I'll show them to you. Yes, my son. All right, guys. And this is it for today's video. A very short one, very brief explanation about Allah within the Bible. I think that Ahmed Didat did a quite good job here, especially on the Hallelujah. This is something that I didn't know. However, when it comes down to the word Allah, what I was expecting to see is a Bible in Arabic. I believe that this would really cement his point if he simply would show a few pages of the Bible in Arabic or a chant in Arabic, a Christian chant in Arabic. This would have been so much more powerful and convincing to the people. Either way, for me personally, as I said, already not shocking anymore. In the beginning, it was quite shocking, especially when I started really digging deep into my own religion, into Christian orthodoxy, and I started listening to chants from all over the world. I started listening to the Greek chants, to the Bulgarian chants, but I started listening to the Arabic chants as well, and I was shocked myself when I heard Allah within those chants. This already a few years back, however, back then I had no motivation to dig deeper. Now I'm really wondering why that is, but I simply brushed it off and stopped listening to those Arabic chants and went back to the Bulgarian and to the Greek ones. Anyways, guys, this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. Roughly 70% of my viewers are still not subscribed, so do me a quick favor and simply hit that subscribe button thank you so much for that and if you further want to support me on patreon for example all the links are in the description box below thank you so much for that as well guys as always may god bless you all much love and peace <laughs>